What can you tell us about the team? Uh, there'll probably be about three new players in the team, uh, which is very exciting. Um, some from, you know, a uh, player from former club and, um, yeah, just players getting the opportunity. I think it's very exciting. But, um, you know, we're, we're in a good position at the moment. We've, we're fit, we're ready to go, and uh, we've been waiting for this moment. Uh, Watson, for the debut? Um, well, that's probably the last bit of the puzzle. We'll probably leave uh, everyone guessing, but... Um, He's done everything right um, through the pre-season. He's probably, uh, you know, what he's done on the track has probably over uh, exceeded our expectation and how he's durable and can get out on the track. So um, he'll be very close, but um, yeah, we'll just wait and see. Paulie Bauer looked to sort of dispel any doubts over his fitness. Yeah, he was, um, yeah, he was um, moving very well, which was uh, great. So um, yeah, it'll be good to get um, Paul in the action. He, he um, came off early last week, so yeah, we'll see. So you don't know until We'll wait and see how he pulls up. I think it's one of those ones that um, when you train for 15, 17 minutes, um, you know, players can get up and muster that for um, that energy level and the emotion of first round and things like that. I think depending on how players pull up will be uh, how we grade that. We know that we want to take you know, fit men into the game. It's something that um, a few years ago we got hurt, you know, taking blokes underdone, so we want to make sure our group is fit and ready to go. What about, uh, it's been quiet this year, been quiet a couple this year in the pre-season compared to the previous couple of years. Has that been good to, to be able to focus a little bit? Yeah, it is. It's um, yeah, I suppose uh, our NAB, our NAB uh, Cup challenge form's been pretty good, and um, you know we got beaten by Collingwood, who won the the series. So um, from that point of view, it's um, yeah, it's been really encouraging, and it's it's nice to be quiet around here sometimes. What about Brock McLean? Yes. Yeah, Brock played a half last week and will play uh, in the reserves this week. And um, yeah, he just uh, he had a, an issue with his ankle and got a bit sore, so we rested him. And um, he's doing everything right. So um, yeah, hopefully he's only a week or two away. Feel for how far Cruiser is away. He's getting reasonably close, isn't it? Yeah, it's an interesting one. I think it'll be on how he, he pulls up as well, whether there's swelling and as we lift the workload and the competitiveness in his training program. So you know, he could be you know two weeks away, but we need him to play games of football first but um, he's doing everything right so it might be somewhere from two to four weeks. Will he play VFL? Yeah he will yes there's no doubt about it he'll play VFL to uh, get a taste and, and probably uh, blow the cobwebs out and get knocked over and um, yeah just get back in the action. Oh, I think it's uh, early doors we've got um, you know this week he trained today he's just getting back into the training program so it'll be just depending on how that knee's progressing uh, from a week to week point of view. What are you expecting from the Tigers? Their form over the last four weeks of the preseason hasn't been too great. A lot of people are expecting a big win for you guys. What are you expecting from them? Oh, I expect, uh, uh, you know, under um, Damien and, and the way he goes about it, I expect him to come out snarling. And the emotion of round one is, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of tension and everyone's been itching to go and uh, it's going to be probably on at the first bounce. I think uh, they'll be coming out right on the front foot, as will we. So it's going to be a great game. There's been a bit of talk around about uh, whether or not Richmond are justified in having the opening round of the opening game of the season because of what's transpired the last couple of years. Is that sort of justified talk? I don't think I think that's very unfair. I think uh, the the history between Carlton and Richmond goes back for years in grand finals, and uh, I think it's great to have two uh, traditional Melbourne teams to uh, kick the season season off. And um, yeah, no, I'm, it's going to be a great encounter, and um, really looking forward to it. What's your plan for after three goals? Hopefully, not kick any goals. That's the uh, the uh, outcome we'd love to get. Um, yeah, we'll just wait and see. Um, we'll keep you guessing. As um, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully he doesn't touch the ball. That'll be the main thing. He's a great player, the Coleman medalist. So his am impact on the game will be very critical to the result for us. So if we can limit that, I think we'll go a long way to winning the game. Have you got the players to, to cover him if, if Bauer doesn't come up? We think we have. I think it's it's not just about the individual that plays on Jack. It's about the team defence and uh, you know if we can uh, keep the ball going our way and keep it in our front 50, it's going to be hard for him to score from back there. So it's about team defence, and I think we'll uh, you know we'll be judged on how Jack goes from how the whole you know 22 that play on the day um, stop and limit his uh, impact on the game. Would you consider giving the job on him though, on you know a new bloke or, or a young inexperienced sort of defender? Uh, it's been thrown around. I think. Uh, you know, with Jamo out, I think it's opened up uh, the possibilities for a few, and I think the person that gets that role will have a great opportunity to, um, you know, really, I suppose, project their career and, um, you know, maybe make a name for himself as well. Do you pump them up? Do you say that to them when you're moving from the role? 
I think you don't have to um, be Einstein to say you're going to play on Jack Rewalt and what he can do. He, he's the best goal kicker in the land last season. So I think that job uh, to any player is a big task, regardless if you're you know, a, uh, an All-Australian fullback or you're in your first game. I think it would be a, a huge task for anyone and he's a t such a talent, talented player and I think you can just see what he does for the uh, the Richmond crowd. We watched here last week and every time he touched it, the crowd went berserk. So he has an emotional um, lifter for the, for the group and the supporters. So I think uh, if we can stop him in the game, it would be critical. You had a hell of a lot of higher draft picks mid last decade and, and now I suppose five or six years on I mean everyone talks about Judd but are the likes of you know the Gibbs and the Murphys ready to take the competition you know by the net? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Murphy's pre-season and uh, what he did last year um, to get ready for round one and have that uh, impact on the season, still finished third now, best and fairest. He virtually did no pre-season after Christmas and just shows the quality of the individual and his ability to impact games. And now he's had a full pre-season. He looks th uh, thicker and he looks you know, even a bit fitter than he has in previous years. But um, I think he's ready to take the game by the scruff of the neck.